Okay, this is part two of my orthographic drawing that I started for you. I went ahead and put that center line in with my 9H pencil, remember, light and thin, long, short, long, always leave about an eighth inch overhang on those two edges. Now I need to put center lines on my circle and on my right side view for that hole. So if I I erased these guidelines a little bit because I made them really dark for you. But I'm going to go ahead and add them back in and show you how to do that. So again, I always leave an eighth inch space. So an eighth inch, I'm sorry, an eighth inch overhang over the edge of the circle. So I'm going to do long, short, long, eighth inch overhang here and here. And a nice, nice spacing. And then the same thing in this direction. Long, short, long. Okay, and you want to be as consistent as you can with your dashes, your long, short, long dashes. Try and make them all equal. Notice I didn't measure an eighth inch. I just eyeballed it. You don't have to measure. And now center line for this view. Line it up with my center line here in my front view. Eighth inch overhang, long, short, long. Now my center lines are done. So at this point, my drawing is complete. I just need to go over it. I need to darken in all my object lines, erase all the extra lines that are on my, my, um, my construction lines, all my guidelines get rid of those, and make it look nice. So the first thing you probably want to do, take your eraser shield and your eraser and start to go around and erase everything in the middle in between all your guidelines. Cover up what you want to keep, cover up your, your object lines so that you can erase back your guidelines. Do this carefully and make sure you don't rip your paper. Erase that back just a little bit. Remember, I said you can keep your 45 for now, just for me to see, you know, when I grade your paper, just to see that you projected correctly. My lines are not erasing as nice as yours will because I made them much too dark just for the video your lines will erase a much, much more completely as long as you didn't make your guidelines too dark, which as long as you use the 9H pencil, they should be erasable. Now, one problem I know that happens sometimes with the 9H pencil and using that for guidelines is the lead on the 9H, it's such a hard lead, that's why it leaves a light line behind. It actually can dent the paper. So then when you erase the line, there's still a basically a, a line that exists, a, a crease in the paper from that hard lead. Um, so that's not good either. So if you're going to use this, uh, you definitely use it for your center lines. Um, but if you're going to use it for guidelines, you really have to push lightly. And a very light line is going to be visible. But that's good. That's what you want because that's going to erase. But if you push too hard, it's going to leave that dent behind. If you have that problem, you're pushing too hard, you can use your object line pencil for guidelines, but you just, again, you barely have to push very, very lightly so that it can be erased later on because you don't want to see those lines because they really shouldn't exist. 
when this thing is all done. Now I can go back and if need be, I can darken my object lines if they weren't made perfect the first time. You can go around, make them all to the right thickness and darkness. You'll learn as you go. You can start to save yourself time. Uh, some of the tricks I showed you where you left spaces here, that's always a great thing to practice. The problem really is when you have to erase these guidelines. Um, and you'll learn over time how to prevent getting that. You always want to project but there are ways to uh, avoid them sometimes, and then you can avoid having to erase them altogether later on if you never drew them to begin with. But we'll get into that later. Uh, make sure you darken in all the features that should be object lines. That's one that I missed. And you can keep the 45, just that small portion of it, that's okay. And that's complete three view orthographic drawing, front, top and side. Again, everything needs to be represented. This edge needs to be represented here. This edge needs to be represented here because I can see that edge when I look at this view. And my hole, I can see through it in the front view, but in my top view, I still have to represent it with hidden lines here and here because that's where it goes through the object. And in my right side view, same thing, hidden lines here to show where that hole goes through the object in the right side view. Thanks for watching, um, and uh, be sure to watch any follow-up videos that I might have. Thank you.